Hi, this is Daniel Mettler from Tusic Internet Solutions, and we've just released version uh, 5.3 with a brand new image resizing system because we just realized that images are extremely important in what we do with, it, with our templates, and the previous thumbnailer was kind of nice, but honestly, it just didn't cut the cake. So, we have a brand new image resizer included. Um, it's a standard product. It's an open source solution, and give it a go. In this short video, I'm just going to show you quickly what it's about and how to work with it. So basically, we have a few requirements. Thumbnails are typical things, but also large images. They should just look great, should be compressed nicely, even if the customer is not smart enough and uploads a 5 megabyte picture, which is great because it allows our customers to not worry too much, and it looks great, and it works great. And also some typical things like creating a perfect square picture where it's centered and stuff wasn't possible before. Now, just to explain what we have, we have this standard open source solution from Image, Image Resizer. It's free. It's great. There's a simple cache included. If you want really advanced scenarios, you're probably going to want to try their professional solutions, which cost something. They have some really powerful caching systems. They have Photoshop previews. They have overlays and watermarks and all that kind of great stuff. If you want to use that, you're going to have to pay a little bit for it. But in my personal opinion, absolutely fairly priced. And for all the simple sites, the free solution is absolutely sufficient and the thumbnailer is just awesome. So let me just quickly show you um, a live example with some code. Um, we've prepared a few samples here. And what I'd just like to show you here is to understand how it works is basically there is no URL before the image. You just say picture.jpg and you add a parameter like width 200, well, W200, and that's it. So let me just show you this with our... Um, standard tools here. If I select this picture here, you will see all it does is it says, here, here's the picture, Daniel, Michelle, and Jenny, blah, 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 dot JPEG with 200. No script URL in front of it. It's just a direct address to the JPEG and the dimension. So we can cut by width by height. These are the automatic ones. We can also say two sizes, and you'll notice that if I select this, the picture is actually larger, but it just creates a white background. Um, PNGs will create a transparent background, really nice, slick. We can also do a padding mode, which is the same as here, just explicit. Same situation, default is padded. Or max, which means, yeah, it cuts off one of the dimensions. And you'll see the difference is this. Here we have a max width. It'll just pick whichever one's larger. Here it'll stretch. Not a common mode that you'll ever want. Then this is one of my favorite, cropping because cropping allows me to create really cool looking designs and the customer can upload a picture which is too big it doesn't matter let me just show you a quick example of this um, we've just been working on a, a website for a association here and you'll notice for example here I have the situation that the picture should just fit into this size and see this picture is the same one like you saw before and it just fits it in perfectly it crops the rest it looks great and the customer can't do anything wrong. I mean, this is a five megabyte picture and it gets transformed, cut and everything perfectly within fractions of a second. We love it. Same thing, for example, here. This picture here is actually a tall picture, but the template says this is what it should look like because you have to crop it. It even scales it up because this demo picture is too small and it looks great and the layout looks perfect. Nothing can go wrong. So we think this is a really powerful enhancement. By the way, when you crop, you can also set the alignment of where to crop it. Again, great. Facebook, by the way, just always centers it. So cool. Enlarging is possible too. As I just said, if the picture is too small, sometimes you want to add that. And when you're using JPEGs, of course, there's no transparent background and you might want to opt for a different background if you're going for this mode. Though we personally never use this mode or almost never. So if you want to know more, go to the documentation of the manufacturer. It's really great. We love having this included. So thank you for watching. If you're going to use it in your templates, this is the way to go. Token and this. Or in Razor, variable and the parameters that you want. Very, very simple. Raphael also wrote a little blog about it. You'll find the details here. So try it. We love it. We think it's really great. And we're really glad that... Other people also create such great open source software that we can just use and include with you guys for free. So that was it. Thank you for watching. 
do give it a try. It's awesome. We love it. This is Daniel Mentler, Two Sick Internet Solutions for Two Sexy Content.